Witches get stitches. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the channel where today we have an event called Witch Slap, which does not mean you have to actually witch slap to complete this event. You just need to use at least four witches in any troop composition that you're doing. No matter what your town hall level, you could participate with Witch Slap at Town Hall 9 under the super Go Wee Wee attack that we're gonna be looking at here today. Man, witches are part of the strongest attack strategy that we have right now in Clash of Clans. It's kind of insane. And we're gonna be looking at that deeper here today before we go any further. Make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for daily Clash videos as well as other mobile gaming videos that you should check out. So I've been dominating with this strategy. I've been three-starring almost everything that I encounter. Now, I am gonna be doing some live attacks with you here today, so most likely doing them live, I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth and not be able to pull in a three-star. Maybe I'll get another 99% two-star. Man, I hope not, but the strategy is incredible, and really we should be using it until Supercell realizes that the Super Wizards are a little bit strong and give them a nerf. Let's hope that doesn't come, because I love the strength of the Super Wizard complimenting his girl, the Witch. So the comp we're going in, actually, let's just hit it like this. This is what I'm attacking bases with and doing so well. I'm coming in with eight Witches, with eight Super Wizards. I like to go with the Log Launcher. We go with the Octo Quake eight earthquake spells and the yeti bomb but instead of the the blimp itself we go in with the log launcher because well the log launcher is doing pretty big things inside of clash of clans right now so why don't we jump in to this live legends league attack what i need you guys to do is drop down below throw a thumbs up in the video literally i need all the luck i can get all right, let's see what kind of base I come up with here. Now, these are always a problem for me because I like to get the value out of my log launcher and it's hard to get that value on a base with the town halls on the outside. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with a quad quake right here. And I'm gonna go with a quad quake right here, completely opening up that part of the base. Now, remember, I do have a super wall breaker. And we have the log launcher, but let's go ahead and get our three golem to three. We're going to get the log launcher right here. We're going to get those witches that we need and the super wizards. Ice golem coming in. King, queen, warden. Let's see how the pathing all works here, actually. I want to go in with a super wall breaker. Get the golem in there. Boom, there we go. Log launcher did a decent job, although uh, it, did, it, it didn't do the best. Okay. Did not do the best job in the world. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna put a freeze on this and we're gonna freeze that right there and poison them. I did not even notice that they were up there. To be honest with you, things aren't looking so hot. Grand Warden's Eternal Tome ability. That's cool, we're rocking around the base. The queen's doing her thing. What I wanna do is try and get my champion. Oh, look at this, a super wizard on the Eagle Artillery. That's gaining massive value, I love it. I love what I'm seeing there, but popping the king He's gonna run around up here. We're gonna go ahead and drop in the champion. Try and, come on, Super Wizard. There we go, Eagle's taken down. Champion, I want her to go ahead and take out that Inferno Tower. We're gonna have to pop her ability early. Will she, oh no, she's tied up on skellies. That's the worst thing that could have happened. Queen's abilities popped. Okay, we talk about how powerful these girls are, but then I come ahead and do an attack like this. It's what you've come to expect from me on these live attacks. I seem to always have a hard time with them. It's the pressure. It's the pressure. But I will show you some better examples than what you got to witness right here. But again, we're in Legends League and inside of Legends League. All I really have to pull in to maintain my Legends League status is a 80% two star and I can feel okay. So we're 2% higher than what I expect out of myself. I'm a little disappointed, but I feel like I have to prove to you guys that I can do this. And to be honest with you, me, the guy who hates bases that have centralized town halls or ring style bases, I actually prefer those kinds of bases with this strategy because, well, it seems like the log launcher just lo launches those logs right into the town hall. Then the Yeti will come out and take it down. You get so much value out of the log launcher where on the last attack that we just sadly witnessed i didn't get as much value so here we go coming in with that log launcher going straight on in look at this look at that inferno tower it's going to get beaten up by the log launcher with combination of the earthquake spell as well now 
I'm going to be honest. I think I actually featured this tack in an upcoming video as well. So here's, here's the task for you guys. If you see that next video, if, if you see it and say, I saw that echo attack in the comments section on that video, let me know echo. I was in the other video where you had this attack featured as well. That's how I'll know that you watch all my content. And that's how I will say thank you. I appreciate you. So here we go. Look at these heroes up on the top of the base. King, Queen, Warden, Champion. It's all about that champion value with this strategy. And as we saw from the last attack, I did not get the champion value. She got shut down by the Infernal Tower because of the Skelly spells. If the skeletons weren't there, we would have been better. Or the Skelly traps, I should say. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, they were there. And I didn't get the value. Also, actually here, Champion did all right. She didn't get as much value as I would like to get out of her. You know, I really love it when at the end of the attack, the champions run around with their spear and still going, taking down things that are no longer defenses. But it doesn't happen every single time. Super wall breaker coming in because why not? I had no reason for it, but we had to get it out of the comp. Notice the King's ability, the Queen's ability, and three goblins in the comp. Really solid attack right here. Proving I can get it done. I promise you that I can. I just can't live. But we're in a clan right now. Canadian Brew. And inside of this clan, we've had some really good witch attacks in the war. Ones that you could be using right now to participate in this event to get the free spell. Or boost. All right, so here we are in the war. We got Strange coming in. And look at this. He's using the same army comp as me. He's bringing two Ice Golem, three Golem. He's got the eight Wizards. He doesn't have a Super Wall Breaker. He does have the Log Launcher like me. And he's got the type of Town Hall that I love going against, those centralized Town Halls. You know, you think, you would think that this would be a rough one to hit, but it actually works out pretty, pretty nicely. Now notice the number 28 attacker, Strange, from Canadian Brew is coming against the number two base. So either they're both max level and the whole clan is, or the attacker is a lower level than the attackee. But looking at the army composition, it looks like everything is max level. So at the end of the day, it's a pretty even matchup or completely even matchup. I love the Grand Warden's ability right here, really making everything invincible as they encroach on that town hall. Shut it down, Canadian Brew, Mr. Strange. And while you're watching this epicness happen, I love the free spell. Make sure you use code ECHO inside the shop whenever you purchase gems or a season pass in Clash of Clans. I have my reminder right up there for you guys all the time. Thank you very much ahead of time. And if you don't support me, that's cool. Support someone. It costs you nothing. And it really helps someone out. But back to the attack. We have a really nice hero rotation around the base. Look at that. That great skin that you can get from the season pass. That champion looking like the king. Let's go. Or the King of the North, at least. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Inferno Tower. Good job with the freeze, though. Champion Queen shutting it down. Man, I love this champion. Plus, her skin's pretty sweet as well. Let's clean up the rest of this base as it all goes down. But we can't stop there. We can't. We got to show you more. We have to look at more witch attacks. Because you need to be good at it. Because you want to get the prize. You want to be the reward grabber. You want to be the best. So let's make you the best. Guys, I want to remind you that I'm live streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on Twitch. You guys should come through and hang out with me. What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to pin a comment with my Twitch link. Also inside of that pinned comment is going to be my Discord server link. Come on through. Let's, let's hang out. Let's talk about mobile games. Let's talk about Clash of Clans. Let's be a family. Back to the video. Barbarian face. Is that a good face or a bad face? Either way, it's a good attack coming out of Barbarian face. And I think I encountered a base similar to this. And when I encountered it, I came in from the top portion of the base and I went in through the Eagle, through the scatters right to the town hall. But is that how Barbarian face is gonna do it? Oh, oh, the wall was not completely opened right there. So we have a little bit more wall yet to be open. Two layers of it actually it was very close. Looks like they are coming in from the same side of the base as me. A golem in each corner with a witch and two super wizards on each. Basically like a witch slapping kind of attack from the corners. Then you have the golem. We're going to see that log launcher coming in pretty soon, I believe. Where is it? Let's get that thing going. It's, it's pretty slow, isn't it? Regular wall breakers. No super wall breakers. King of the North coming in that beautiful Grand Warden right into the core of the base. I love the rage spell. And look at this. The late log launcher coming in late with it. And he's got the super minions. Minions up front on defense and minion, super minions in the back. 
brutal clan castle combination in my opinion because you have to choose where you're going to poison those super minions could be a complete pain in the tush now we were worried about the wall but the log launcher had that covered completely finished off those wall segments man the log launcher is becoming more and more valuable inside of the clash of clans meta right now super strong and i will say barbarian face did a better job on their attack than i did on mine on this same exact base so props to them i like how this queen look at look at all these super wizards and witches they're starting to just create that spam there's four witches left over over here super wizards as well shutting down everything wow really really dominant attack i've actually made a few videos on this strategy itself because it's so strong you can't ignore it you have to use this strategy right now in the meta unless if there's unless if something changes we have to be using this because bases just can't hold out much love to Canadian Brew for having me come on over and hang out in their clan for a little bit today. I appreciate you guys coming through and hanging out until the end of the video. Make sure you come back tomorrow for the live streams because we are going to be on Twitch and we are going to be doing a fun event where you have to try and take down some champ bases. Remember, if you're buying bases or looking for bases inside of Clash of Clans, check out ClashChamps.com. Some of the best on the interwebs. Plus, they're my boys. Go check it out. They got great bases. And I'll see you guys in the live stream. Before you go, check out some of my other videos. Have a great day. And be good.